Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of 12 Browns TV. Um, talk to you guys about Manny Pacquiao and his uh, plans to skip the MGM Grand arrival due to some displeasure. Um, first off, let's start off with MGM Grand. We know that the MGM Grand is Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s baby. You know, everything that they do over there is about Floyd Mayweather Jr. Hell, when Manny Pacquiao um, fought at MGM Grand last time against Bradley, they had Floyd Mayweather posters and they were promoting Floyd Mayweather, uh, Floyd Mayweather when Manny Pacquiao is entering and is about to fight in, in the hotel. Um, I'm, I believe that Bob Arum had issues with that and um, it's no surprise that they were biased as far as who they you know promote is because like I said that's Floyd Mayweather Jr's um, second home if you will I'm gonna read some of the stuff that came out in the news today um, <clears throat> Manny Pacquiao isn't feeling um, much love for the hotel where he will fight Floyd Mayweather Jr. Um, especially, you know, being this fight is the most anticipated fight of all fights in the boxing history. Um, I can't believe that that NGM Grant would treat Manny Pacquiao like that. So let's move on. Um, Manny Pacquiao plans to skip a Tuesday ceremony at the MGM Grand, marking formal fighter arrivals. But you guys know that that is an event that has been standard at the hotel for major championship fights, especially this one, especially the one that's upcoming, Mayweather versus Pacquiao fight. Um, Pacquiao is staying at another hotel in Las Vegas. Um, <clears throat> he will have after party, um, after fight uh, parties at yet another hotel. The win. Uh, Aaron said that. Um, he had some issues with, with, like I said, with MGM Grand before. And that uh, Manny Pacquiao will only go to MGM Grand for the final pre-fight press conference, the weigh-in, and the fight itself. That is it. Um, he said that, um, Bob Aaron said that we're not going to stay there any more than we have to because we know that the way they have been acting they feel that Manny Pacquiao is not welcome there. You know what I say to that? Fuck MGM Grand. Forget that motherfucker. Don't ever even go there. If it wasn't for this stupid fucking Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s baby hotel, uh, you know, Manny Pacquiao wouldn't be fighting there. You know, if you guys don't know, Manny Pacquiao is only fucking going there because he wa he's going to fight Floyd Mayweather Jr. for the fans. Because that, because Manny Pacquiao is all about giving back to the fans and giving them, giving us what we want to see. But if it was his way, hell, fucking Manny Pacquiao don't need no fucking Mayweather. He don't need to fucking step in MGM Grand and get disrespected. Fuck MGM Grand. That's what I say. I hope Manny Pacquiao never fight there again. Shit. <clears throat> Adam said that, um, they told them on Friday, uh, they told them that uh, they were coming in Monday night and that they would be going to the Mandalay Bay and that uh, we're not, they're not doing any grand arrival at the MGM. Aram said that uh, they'll have a press con, press con over at Mandalay Bay and do an interview there with Manny Pacquiao. I'm sure all the fans, if you guys are watching this video, all the Manny Pacquiao fans Make sure you guys don't go to MGM Grand during that arrival because he's not going to be there. He's going to be at Mandalay Bay. That's what's going to do his interview. Um, also, a couple of things here. You know, MGM Grand, the, uh, the Garden Arena in Las Vegas, is where Manny Pacquiao had won a lot of big fights, you know, to include a bout against Oscar De La Hoya. Miguel Cotto and Ricky Hatton. I mean, all those three fucking fights and you, that fucking MGM Grand still fucking disrespect Manny Pacquiao. Like that. You know, the least fucking thing they can do is goddamn give the fucking dude some respect and give back to him. He made him so much fucking money when he fight these three fucking 
great fighters. Miguel Cotto, Ricky Hatton, Oscar De La Hoya. You know how much M MGM Grand made off of that? I say again, fuck MGM Grand. You know, Manny Packer doesn't say much. And I can feel him. You know what I mean? I can feel him. Where he's probably talking to Bob Arum or his, his friends. You know, we gotta admit, right? A lot of Filipinos are very sensitive. And Manny Packer, he seems to be one of them because as i recall he even gave he's, he doesn't get mad very often if you guys uh, didn't know um <clears throat> i think a few years back i think manny pacquiao uh, freddie roach said that manny pacquiao only got mad at him twice in, in this entire partnership and um one of them is because manny pacquiao or uh, freddie roach told him you know stop staying up late and playing darts and uh, manny pacquiao you know, his way of getting mad is he gave Freddie Roach just the silent treatment for a few days. He doesn't get mad. You know, he, the guy is different. He's very sensitive. You know, I mean, he is a boxer, but the guy is sensitive. But a prize fighter like Manny Pacquiao fights at MGM Grand all the time, gives a lot of money, and fucking makes MGM Grand a lot of money. And for fucking MGM Grand to treat him like how he just did or like how they just did when he fought Bradley, fuck those motherfuckers. That's what I say. Just if I, you know, like I said, just go look for the fight and for the weigh in and out of that fucking walk out of there and bring all your fans with you to the other hotel. That's what I say. Fuck MGM Grand. He says over here that the feud escalated in the recent weeks. As Bob Aaron believed MGM executives were conspiring with Mayweather's camp to give Mayweather more tickets to the fight than allowed under contract. I knew this shit was going to happen. I fucking knew it. There's always a conspiracy against fucking Manny Pacquiao. I mean, you know, Mayweather and fucking MGM Grand, they can fucking suck it. They're gonna do fucking Manny Pacquiao that dirty. I mean, they've already been dehydrating Manny Pacquiao with all these fucking demands and all these goddamn accusations. And now they're cheating him out of fucking money. I mean, that's no surprise. Mayweather promotion, Mayweather fucking team, MGM Grand, bunch of fucking cheaters. I wouldn't be surprised if this motherfucker wins by a fucking split decision or unanimous decision at MGM Grand. Because as we all fucking know, you know, it's a bad idea for Manny Packer to fight in Las Vegas. Because Mayweather is Las Vegas cash cow. Hell, that motherfucker should have went reprimanded, punished, when he lied fucking in front of the goddamn Nevada Athletic Commission. About the fucking doghouse fight and the betting and the smoking of the marijuana at home. If you guys don't recall that, that last year. He got off of that and he lied under oath. Or, well, he didn't take under oath. He didn't take oath. That's, that's fucking, that's, that's a fucking problem. But still, he should have been reprimanded. And, you know, you know, Mayweather has a license to promote boxing. He should have lost that for having an illegal fight, betting. I mean, he had people straight boxing till death, you know? And what did he say? That's a doghouse rule, right? That shit is illegal as fuck. says over here that the dispute was finally resolved this week and about 500 tickets went on sale to the public Thursday. They were quickly snatched up and the tickets on the secondary ticket market were being listed at three to four times face value for the cheapest $1,500 nosebleed seats to more than $100,000 for the $10,000 ringside floor seats. Already fucking cheating Manny Pacquiao on fucking money. I'm telling you, man. Unreal, dude. You know what? This is what I say to Manny Pacquiao. Do your best, bro. You know? Manny Pacquiao, good luck to you. Comes May 2nd. I, I really hope and wish you the best. Hope you fucking beat Manny, um, uh, May, Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather hard. Fucking beat him up. Don't just win the fight. Fucking punish that motherfucker. Always trying to do some illegal shit. 
on the fucking side. And yes, I leave you guys with this. To Manny Pacquiao, I'm with you. Don't even do your fucking grand arrival as fucking MGM Grand. Because you're going to have fucking Floyd Mayweather with a face all over that fucking place. And bring all your fans. You got a lot of fans. Manny Pacquiao has, if not, a fucking same amount of fans as fucking Floyd Mayweather. It just happened to, but it just happened to be that Floyd May Las Vegas is Floyd Mayweather's town. But don't mistake it, Manny Pacquiao. Bro, if you're listening, one of your friends, whatever, listening to this video, it's coming from somebody from California as well. All right? California, Hawaii. We here in California and Hawaii, we love you. I mean, we'll fly to Las Vegas to see you. We will fucking go drive to Las Vegas from San Diego to, to see you. Everybody. You have a lot of fans. Southern California. I mean, all over the place. I mean, you have people flying from the Philippines to see you. Not only that. From Europe. And all over. From fucking Middle East and everything. So, don't fucking worry about that stupid MGM Grand. I hope all your fans get out that fucking stupid hotel and fucking go check in somewhere else. Bring all your fans with you, man. Bring all of them. You know, if I were you, Manny Pacquiao, I would announce it. When you do an arrival to fucking Mandalay Bay, tell them, if you're my fans, don't ever check in in fucking MGM Grand and see how much fucking MGM Grand feels that shit. When their fucking sales or people start checking out that fucking hotel. Don't worry, Manny Pacquiao. We're beside you, man. Whether with or without MGM Grand. I wish you the best, bro. I wish you the best it comes May 2nd. I hope you knock that motherfucker out and walk out of that fucking um, MGM Grand. If you want to do your fucking post-fight post conference, press conference, you should do it somewhere else. If, if it, it permits. But other than that, good luck, bro. And I'll, we'll talk to you later. Peace.